Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about unpopular Luna opinions. So it's been a while since I've done this, so it might be a little bit crusty. Ew. <laughs> um, so if you are unfamiliar with my discussing common and popular opinions, it's basically unpopular Luna opinions, but with a twist. So I take the most popular, unpopular Luna opinions, and I give you my take on them to see if there's actually any truth to them. A little bit of information about me. I am not a Luna stan, um, so I'm not biased. Even though some of you might think that I'm secretly a Luna stan, I'm not okay. Like, I didn't know the first thing about them, but I did some research for this video so I could accurately criticize and state my opinion on these common and popular Luna opinions. So without further ado, let's dive into the tea. So the first and obvious one is one, Stan Luna is annoying. So I think most of us have come across this phrase at least once. Um, and it started out as an innocent meme that Luna fans kind of created with the intention of promoting the group to draw in fans for when they made their debut. And clearly that worked, because I knew of Luna because of the entire Stan Luna meme. However, I think that people started overusing it and started commenting it on posts that were completely unrelated to Luna and to K-pop even. And that's when it became annoying. Because no one who doesn't stand K-pop wants to see Stan Luna. Ooh, like, that's... Yikes. Don't do that. But even to K-pop fans, it became quite annoying and repetitive, so people grew tired of it quickly, and there were certain instances that made people believe that 1.1 orbits are toxic. There have been times um, where a celebrity passed away, and there were orbits, or not even orbits, maybe just toxic people in the comments commenting, maybe if they stand Luna, they would have they wouldn't have died or they would have lived longer. I am genuinely wondering how much empathy, common sense, and humanity you must lack to comment such a thing because it's so insensitive and I don't think you would appreciate it if someone commented something like that or just a Luna fan cam or that statement if you were grieving over someone. It's just really disrespectful. However, that doesn't mean that the entire Orbit fandom is toxic, because that definitely is not true. You shouldn't generalize an entire fandom just because a couple of fans have no manners or common sense. But I also believe that this caused people to be taken aback by Luna because of the entire Stan Luna meme and their fandom and they are afraid for that reason to stand them. But just remember that you stand a group for the members and their music and not for the fandom or the meme. So I think if you feel like you are liking Luna and what they bring to the table, I definitely think you shouldn't be afraid of standing them just because of that meme, you know? Just love them. Number two, Luna's debut High High was disappointing. Um, to me personally, I think Hi Hi was a good debut. Um, I liked the song, it was catchy, it was upbeat, the music video looked great. I think I've definitely seen worse debuts um, in comparison to Luna's, but still some people were disappointed. Um, and I think it is because a lot of people had high expectations of Luna's debut, mostly because of their um, impressive debut project. And I think that they might have expected something more impressive when it came to the music video and its visuals. And I think um, they expected the song to be more high energy since that's what it was promoted as. But I think you have to realize that Luna comes from a relatively small company. I mean, small is an understatement even. Blackberry Creative, their company, has 15 employees. And the fact that they produce this entire debut project with only 15 people is extremely impressive to me and I think they definitely deserve more credit for that. But, um, like I said before, 
people had such high expectations for such a small company because of that impressive debut project. And I think that put a certain amount of pressure on Luna to do well. Um, but people fail to realize that they're still rookies and rookies aren't perfect. They are just starting out, you know, um, this is the starting point of their career. And I think it's only going to get better from this point on. And I think their song Butterfly is a perfect example of that. Also, I'm going to add um, that just because you didn't like Hi Hi or just because you thought it wasn't all that impressive doesn't mean that it's a bad debut. It doesn't mean that it's a bad song. It just depends on your personal preference. Okay, Linda? Number three, Vivi, Hyunjin, and Yojin deserve more lines. This is not only a point of discussion in the Luna fandom, but in many other fandoms as well. A lot of fans feel that certain members in a group don't receive enough lines, and therefore the line distribution is unfair. Now, if a certain member only gets 0 0.1 seconds to sing a word to make a sound, that's definitely not okay. And I don't know what these companies are doing. But being completely honest with you, I also kind of disagree with the entire discussion on line distribution and let me tell you why. Firstly, whenever an idol debuts in a group, they receive a certain position in that group. For example, lead vocalist, main dancer, lead rapper, etc. So when they're distributing the lines, the majority of the lines will most likely go to the main and lead vocalists in the group and that kind of seems logical to me. From the information that I've gathered on Vivi, Hyunjin, and Yojin's positions, they're not really focused on vocals, and even though that Luna's positions are not completely set in stone, it makes sense to me that their contribution to the group isn't completely focused on their vocals. But that doesn't mean that I think they only should sing for 0.5 seconds, since I believe that they're capable of singing more than just Fly, Ew, that was gross. Okay, um... I'm making my debut in Luna, guys. No, um, <laughs> however, I think it is important that we allow the company to figure out what works best for them, since I believe that it's a little bit too early into their career as a 12 member group to judge and completely criticize their line distribution. And since that their positions are not completely set in stone, I feel like it could still change throughout time, which is a positive thing. Number four, the choreography for Singing in the Rain was underwhelming. A lot of Orbits expected the choreography to slap harder, I guess, and I honestly have to agree with this. After looking into Luna's solos, that choreography is definitely not the strongest, and that's not because all of the other choreographies are like super powerful, but they just suited the song so well. Honestly, Singing in the Rain is such a good song, and I think it deserved a great choreography to go along with it, and the current choreography seems kind of mellow and easygoing, and I don't think it does the song complete justice. And that doesn't mean that I think it needs this really impressive dance break or anything like that, but just something that really, really suits the song extremely well, if that makes any sense. And those are all of the unpopular Luna opinions that I'm going to discuss for now. Please, Orbits, don't kill me! Um, <laughs> be sure to let me know your own thoughts on these unpopular Luna opinions in the comments section. Do you think there's any truth to them? And if there's anything else you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear your guys' suggestions. And that's it for now, so I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys! I think I was, I think I was, I